Good morning, everybody. I'm Frida Stafford. I've just been to Walmart for some must-haves that we really can't get anywhere else. Well, I got a pumpkin from clearance for $1.39. It looks like it has a shimmer in, in the camera, but it really doesn't. I'm thinking to add some shimmery spray paint to it, I said, I think that would be really pretty. And it has a place for a tea light to go in. I think that's cute. It has the slits and, and the design and it will make a pretty light design. It's, a, it's made of like what you would expect a flower pot to made it, be made of. It's very rustic. And this looks like chalk paint to me but in the camera it looks shimmery and it isn't so i'm going to uh think about or look for some um shimmery spray to add on it i think that would be cute dollar 39 for that they're usually a lot more than that it's it it's regular price is 14 dollars. so i got the, a deal on that okay and my daughter needs a new binder and I like to get them the ones with handles and it also has um, a strap inside it that's included and it has all these things. They would rather carry this than wear a backpack for some reason. It's a binder and it has a, a zipper here for, um, for the um, little file, little file cabinet. Uh, it has um, a, like a velcro strap here to close and then it has uh, where they can put all their papers and it has a notebook in it or yeah it has a, a three subject notebook in it and it, of course it has rings and it has zipper pouches and everything inside so all of her things will be carried on inside this large binder and she she and my uh, uh, Hassan prefer these over wearing backpacks. The twins have some like this, but they they still carry their backpacks. Um, <clears throat> I guess they keep theirs in their backpacks. So she had one with a pouch on the front that closes with, well, she and Hassan both uh, had one with a pouch on the front that had a uh, Velcro flap and the Velcro doesn't work anymore. So her, and, and the pocket is also tearing off. So I got her one that doesn't have um, a flap. I think, it, yeah, it does have a zipper here for like a, a, some paper or something on the front of it behind this thing, behind the label. But um, most of uh, her little file folder is on the inside. So I think that will, be good for for our intents and purposes now last year I had one of these and it was doing really well it's a Norfolk Island pine it, every year they have them for ten dollars nine ninety seven or something like that no yes it says nine ninety seven most of them had a reindeer on it and a few of them were just plain so I I picked a plain one I because not only because this was the healthiest plant. I picked the one with the most uh, refreshing green growth that shows that it's really healthy. Some of them had like a dead branch and I was afraid it would continue to die if I took one of those. So I took one that was uh, the most, had the most growth on it, new growth. So maybe it will continue to grow for me, I hope. I had one. Uh, a few times already I started one in the in my plant room and it grew really well and it was very happy and then um, the one of the heaters would uh, stop working and, and they would freeze to death and that was the only th thing that caused them to die was getting too cold so this year I have two heaters in there and I'm contemplating another some kind of heater to put in there because I want to to keep it warm for my plants and for my cats too 
They, sh they deserve to be warm. And it's cold outside. And I have two bottles of distilled water for my BiPAP. It, the inside rusts if I don't use distilled water. So I don't know why, but it rusts if I use faucet water or or any uh, any bottled water that's not distilled. And I have a fun, some fun ideas, some fun things here. Just because. Well, first. Where's my monkey mug? I know I got a sock monkey. Okay. I got these two uh, drinks, a blackberry and, an elder, and a huckleberry. Huckleberry is my favorite. Um, and I got this can of uh, Washburn's hard candy since 1856 this has been a traditional Christmas candy so I got one of these because I'm I want to show my kids this Christmas I want to show them how I used to eat um, the old-fashioned candies this is ribbon candy I used to love ribbon candy so I don't know how it will look inside but this is the thin ones. I think we used to get ribbon candies in a bag too. I didn't see a bag, I just saw this box. <laughs> so I also have a, a box of um, old fashioned candy, I mean a, a bag of old fashioned candy from Wal uh, Walgreens, yeah, Walgreens, okay. Now I need to go find out what happened to my sock monkey. my receipt <sighs> okay I'm gonna have to go look. furthermore I just got back from uh, Walmart this is what I got this sock monkey mug and he had this uh, label on uh, attached to the handle and it's uh, it says $4.97 and that was the price I paid $4.97 but he had a, <clears throat> a package of hot chocolate mix or is that a double one I think that's for two uh, two times and then um, two little candy canes to put on the edge of the mug uh, like a mug uh, mug critter um, if you want to make it peppermint and it had this label around it I just took it off because I wanted to wash the mug so I can use it so it was there it, there was a whole bunch of them in the seasonal uh, candy aisle <coughs> and I I had one before in the past and I just um, I will take this peppermint candy and the chocolate mix and let the kids have it because I, I don't want that because um, it's not keto and I'm not really a big fan of hot chocolate for some reason. I'd rather have coffee or tea. Coffee first, tea second. And this is what I had bought from from the uh, Silver Dollar Bargains um, salvage grocery store in Mississippi um, in Tupelo or close to Tupelo. It's Address is not Tupelo, but it's in the outskirts of Tupelo. Um, it's privately owned. And they, um, I bought this Starbucks brand. I guess it's uh, salvage, you know, it's just salvage. It's not made for resale, but I guess they can get away with reselling it in a salvage situation. And I wanted to see, because the date on it said 2020, and I just got one in case because I, w I thought, I didn't know if that many was packaged in 2020 or if it was expired in 2020. I don't know, but it's still good coffee. It was sealed in tight um, in this packet and it's perfectly good coffee. So 
I'm brewing some now so I can drink it in my sock monkey. <laughs> I think he's so much fun. I had a sock monkey before. He broke. I guess the handle broke off or something. Now I have a spoon here and some raspberries. I've not had breakfast yet. I had one of those drinks, Clear American or something like that, that they sell at Walmart. It's a, it's a knockoff or a generic brand of, of uh, ice. So it has some vitamins in it, but it's uh, sugar free. So I'm gonna have these raspberries. I washed them for the kids to have for breakfast and, and there's still some here, bismillah. So I'm gonna finish them now. Mm. I'm also gonna have boiled eggs in a minute and coffee. Mm. You might hear the hammering going on. Um, there's a team of people working to replace the roof that was um, damaged in the in the storm from the tree. They had a team cut down the tree a while ago, and now they're finally replacing that poor broken down roof. I hope that whatever water went inside, I hope it did not mold the walls. That's the, that is the, uh, the other thing, issue. But I guess apparently it took a long time for the insurance to pay out the money for that uh, roof. Mm. I like them better room temperature than refrigerator cold. I think they taste sweeter when they're not so cold. Brewing. I have my sock monkey, my coffee buddy. Bismillah. It's just coffee with milk. But I'm going to add some sugar free pumpkin spice syrup that I found at the salvage store in Mississippi. Um, the specific one I found it at was no, actually, I found that in Kentucky because it's from RNS found it in Kentucky in uh, October when I failed my big uh, my big uh, challenge <laughs> I failed it I did I was 16 pounds too heavy to ride the zip line Bismillah. now I am going to add some good olive oil. This bottle is reused. The olive oil in here is liquid gold. It, it's made in Palestine by a friend uh, of my husband who is Palestinian. His mother was still living there making olive oil on her farm. And It is so good for considering um, it's, uh, it is very expensive. The, um, it's $300 for a five gallon uh, container of it. Ooh. So it was a pretty penny, but we love it. And I have these boiled, soft boiled eggs with a uh, runny yolk and I put them on a uh, mug bread made with almond flour that I made in the microwave because it's the fastest way to get a keto bread and I want to bake some that I keep in the refrigerator but this tastes exactly to me like an English muffin and I topped it with some um, um, everything bagel seasoning with jalapeno in it so I want to keep my eggs on my bread and um, 
a dollop of olive oil, a drip. Bismillah. Because it's so good for your health. And it has sediment in it, which I don't <coughs> mind because it's real, real, real olive oil from Palestine. And it's perfect bread. Bismillah. Mm. I went to Walmart first <clears throat> after dropping the kids off and I got my daily exercise or I wish it was daily. I should go somewhere even if i don't need anything just to get a walk i don't want to walk in the sidewalk i'm afraid i'm afraid i'll get mugged just beat up for no reason mm. Um, those men are working hard over there. <laughs> Jumped at me. Don't you want to be eaten? Mm. I wanted to turn it around. So you can see it. Mm. Let me. The simplest food is the most delicious. It tastes uh, better than any keto bread I've bought from the store. After I boiled the eggs, I thought, I want something to soak up that yolk. It just looks so lonely there on the, on the plate. I need another drip of olive oil. So, <clears throat> mm. olive oil. elevates the flavor of the boiled egg anyway so those eggs look so lonely there and i thought well that calls for a mug bread keto mug bread because it takes too long to bake one in the oven and this one is more delicious anyway
I like to put the butter in. I don't like to use it melted because I've noticed that if if it's still a little chunky, the the bubbles in the bread are bigger, which I like. I like to keep the bubbles big. Me and my sock monkey. That reminds me of that song, Me and My Monkey. The monkey doesn't wear any pants. I used to laugh and think it was so funny. Every time I heard it, on when the kids watched TikTok or something. And then I looked up the song because I wanted to listen to the whole thing. And I, I was shocked because it was very raunchy in parts. Some part, so don't watch it unless you don't mind bad words because it has a lot of bad words. But that that line, me and my monkey, the monkey doesn't wear any pants. I thought that was really funny, but the rest of the song is not. Mm -mm. I'd rather protect my ears a little, wear ear muffs or ear plugs, or not, or not have it on at all. Anyway, that was my breakfast with my monkey.